If you have an Echo Show 5 or you plan on getting one, I'm going to go to all the settings that's built into your Echo Show 5 and show you what they're all about. So stay tuned for all of that in this video. Okay, so I recently got an Echo Show 5 and I went to all the settings to see what they're all about. I'm going to cover them in this video so you can see what you'll be dealing with if you decide to get an Echo Show 5. Hey everyone, so how y'all doing today? So in this video, I'm going to go over the settings and how to access them and other options that's inside this Echo Show 5. So to access the settings, you just have to swipe down from the top and then you'll get access to the brightness, do not disturb and the settings and also home. So if you need to go back to home, you click that and of course it takes you back to the home screen. So let's go into settings. So from settings, you got a couple options there at your disposal. You got Bluetooth and you got network, you know, which is your wireless network. You got home clock, you got display, you got sound, the do not disturb, communication, device option, restricted access, things to try, help, accessibility, and you know, all the legal stuff. Okay, so now that we're in the settings, let's start off by trying to connect to the Bluetooth. So we're gonna have this Harman Kardon speaker show up hopefully on this list. And there it goes. So now that it's connected to this external speaker, the Harman Kardon, which can put out much more sound than the speaker that's built into the Echo Show 5, this will make it sound more stronger. So now if I play music or listen to the news or anything like that, it's going to sound more powerful now compared to the speaker that's built in the Echo Show 5. So I just wanted to show you that you can actually connect a Bluetooth speaker to it and also have an audio jack on the back. So if you want to wire it to the speaker, that's fine. And if you have wireless Bluetooth headphones, you see you can actually connect it to this Echo Show to give it that more powerful sound or get more personal sound by using the headphone. Now the next one is the network, which is your Wi-Fi. If you'd have to reconnect it to another Wi-Fi, this is where you would go to change that Wi-Fi setting. Let's go down to the next one, which is home and clock. Over here, you can change a couple things that you want to change. Like you can customize the clock by choosing a different uh, background of how you want the clock to look. So if you went into the classic, for instance, you see that you can choose from four different uh, clock faces. And then you can go back and choose like photography. And you know, you got different backgrounds to choose from there, only two. I'm pretty sure Amazon probably adds some more over time. You know, so this one has six and the playful one. So, you know, they're just simple background. And then you got modern, which has like, you know, more colors I can see right here that you can choose from. You know, they're just solid colors like the solid orange solid blue this one has a bunch of different colors and this one's like a two-tone gradient style and if you choose them you know you can click ok it automatically set it up and then that will be your new clock face let's go back to home and clock again you got home content you can uh adjust to like rotate continually you can adjust that discover you can uh drop in final scores notifications photo highlights, reminders. You can control all the stuff that you see that pops up on that home screen. And if you don't want stuff to pop up, all you have to do is just turn it off. Like you might not want your events to show up, so you can just turn off your events. You know, you might not want everybody to see what's on your event calendar. And you know, you got games, upcoming games. So all of this stuff is in the home content settings. So if we go back, we got the option to select the night mode. So at night, you can have it dim down a little bit, you know, and if you set it to automatically, it's going to automatically do it, but you can actually change the schedule on it. So I choose the automatic instead of schedule. And then you have the option to change it to the 24 hour clock, which is some people call military time. I like that kind of setting, so I already turned mine on. So in the display settings, you got the photo slideshow settings, which you can go in there and you can adjust smart cropping or the speed that it changes that photos. I'm not sure if you can actually install the photos on here. I haven't seen that option, 
but I guess you have to go with the ones that Amazon provide. I have to dig a little deeper to figure that one out. Down here you got the brightness you can actually slide back and forth and then you can adjust the adaptive brightness where it automatically brightens or darkens the screen based on the light condition outside. Then you got the what they call a sunrise effect where it automatically brightens up and then you have the sound. So here you got basic settings like you can you know that's the main volume and then you got the equalizer where you can uh, adjust the uh, you know the bass and the mid and the treble and then right here you can adjust the volume for the notification and the timer and alarms and then right here you got the ascending alarm where it gradually increased the volume instead of just blasting the alarm on when you wake up in the morning here you can uh, go in and change different type of settings for as far as the alarm you know the the kind of alarm that you want to go off that is and then you got notification that you can adjust and then below that you have the request sound so if you wanted to make that noise when you start a request you would turn this on and it you know it made that ring and if you wanted to let you know that it end the request by doing the little ding you can turn that on so that's your option right there i like mine on so i'm gonna turn it on for that one that way i know that she actually heard me ask for a request and then right below that you have the do not disturb so you can turn on the do not disturb manually or you can schedule it to come on at a certain time of the day. So if you schedule the do not disturb, it can start at a certain time and end at a certain time. You might go to bed at 8 and wake up at 6 and you don't want all that disturbance during that time frame. So you can schedule it to do that automatically every single day. Below that we got communication. So in the communication, you got the incoming ringer. That's the only settings you can choose. So if you don't want it to ring, turn it off. If you want the incoming ringer, then just turn it on. So when you go into device option, you can change the language, the wake word. You got tap gestures. So if you tap the top of the device, it would just automatically snooze. Or you can just say snooze if you really want to. And then you got the date and time you can adjust if you need to adjust that and then you got the temperature you can choose if you want Fahrenheit or Celsius it's up to you then you got your distance miles or kilometers and then you got the web option now in the web option you can choose your browser and the two browsers they have right now is the silk and Firefox so it's like surfing the web on your phone that's basically what you're going to get right now if you choose to browse the web on this small screen device. That's the equivalent, I should say. And then you got web videos. So right now there's nothing there. So I guess if you have web videos, you can clear the cache or you can clear the cookies. You can pair an Amazon remote. I'm not going to click on that one because it's probably going to be searching for a remote. You can pair a gadget that's her name on it. You know what I mean? I don't want to say the word. And then you can check for updates, which I'm pretty sure it probably check for updates automatically, but you can probably do it manually if you want to. And then you can re reset it to factory defaults if you decide to sell it or give it to a family member and you don't want them to have your information in there. Then that will just put it back in the mode of setting it up for the first time. Below device option, you got restricted access. So if you go into restricted access, you can control the photos, the movie trailer, web browsing web search and the video providers you got all those options you can choose from as far as setting up the restrictions and you can turn them on and off by hitting the little slider switch on the right so the next section down is things to try so you if you never had an amazon echo device it'll tell you some things you can try if like i say you never had one before so you can say read audiobook show movies with matt dane and you know stuff like that and this is mainly for people who are new to the echo device next down you got the help so the help section is going to help you out with a few things like show you how you can connect your device to wi-fi and what to do if the echo you know the a lady doesn't understand you and hardware basic and the light bar you know a lot of different things how to reset your device that's what all those little help section is for down you got accessibility so you can change certain things to make it easy for you if you have problems like seeing the screen and you know different color corrections to help you see things and hear things better there so they have all these things to help out people who are visually impaired and hearing impaired 
And then you got the legal stuff and compliance stuff, you know, all the little blah, 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 stuff that normal people don't read. And then at the bottom, it says you can go to the settings in your Alexa app and link your account and set preferences and get help and more. So all of this is built into this Echo Show right here. So it's more where the app is running on the device itself and you rely more on the device as far as the settings. Instead of going to the app like the Echo devices, you will go here to change most of your settings that you need to change because it's already built in. So how to get to that? Like I said, you wanna swipe down, then you will have the option to go back home, you can adjust the brightness, you can do do not disturb, or you can go into the main settings. Now these couple features right here is already built into the settings, but you have quick access to them right here. Okay, so those are all the settings that's built into the Echo Show 5 in its current state at the time of this video. So now if you plan on getting one or you already have one and you want to get into those settings and play with a few things to make some adjustment, now you know how to get into it and make those adjustments if you need to. In an upcoming video, I'll be going over the features that's built into your Echo Show 5. So be on the lookout for that video. If you are the subscriber, you know you're gonna get that notification. If you're not a subscriber, you need to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon if you wanna be notified on that upcoming video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.